possibility has opened for us to extend life to another planet. Um, to the best of our knowledge, life uh, exists only on Earth. I mean, I, it, you know, there's a good argument that it exists elsewhere, but we've seen no sign of it. Humanity has always looked to the stars, dreaming of a second home beyond the fragile blue dot we call Earth. But now, for the first time in history, that dream is no longer confined to science fiction. Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur behind SpaceX, has laid out a bold and detailed roadmap for colonizing Mars, a plan as ambitious as it is controversial. With climate change, overpopulation, and dwindling resources threatening Earth's stability, the idea of a multi-planetary civilization is gaining traction. Mars, the red neighbor 140 million miles away, is the target. And if Musk has his way, it won't just be visited, it'll be home. In this deep dive, we break down Musk's colossal plan to make humans a multi-planetary species. From mega rockets and fuel-making factories on Mars to underground colonies and democratic Martian societies, this is the real story of how SpaceX aims to change the fate of humanity. Why Mars is our best bet. Mars is not just some other planet in our solar system. It is humanity's best pragmatic and strategic opportunity to establish a second home outside of Earth. With increasing alarm regarding the vulnerability of life on Earth, from climatic upheavals and supervolcanoes to nuclear war and potential unanticipated technological risks, Elon Musk has repeatedly pushed for an aggressive answer. Become a multi-planetary species. Of all the planets, Mars is unique, not for its luxury, but for its possibilities. Venus, frequently mentioned for its Earth-sized stature, is a pressure cooker hell with temperatures on its surface hot enough to melt lead and a deadly atmosphere of sulfuric acid. The gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, provide no terra firma and are too distant for practical colonization. Mars, however, provides a rare mix of access and flexibility. On average, approximately 140 million miles from Earth, it's close enough for frequent missions, particularly with the best planetary alignments. The Martian day, or Sol, takes about 24.6 hours to complete, just a hair longer than the day on Earth, which should be within tolerable limits for the human body's circadian rhythm. The Martian atmosphere is very thin, mostly carbon dioxide, but there are also traces of nitrogen and argon in there, essentially the primary components that will sustain future crop and life support systems with technological aid. Its polar ice caps have frozen water, an essential commodity for drinking, as well as the production of fuel through electrolysis and chemical processing. The world receives sunlight that is enough to energize solar panels, and the availability of different minerals in its regolith presents opportunities for mining and construction. Musk has described Mars as a fixer upper planet, highlighting that even though the red planet is not immediately habitable, it does have the raw materials to be made so. By employing cutting edge technologies, including pressurized dwellings, hydroponic gardens, and in situ resource utilization, Mars might be able to sustain a thriving, self-sustaining human population. This is not some idealized future. This is something that needs to happen, in Musk's opinion. He perceives the plodding of government space programs like NASA, which in spite of historic robotic missions, still has yet to put a human on Mars. SpaceX, on the other hand, functions on a startup model, iterative velocity, vertical integration, and ambitious goals. As NASA continues to plan and study, SpaceX designs, tests, and deploys. With Starship, Musk hopes to circumvent the bureaucratic slog and guide the first human mission to another world, one that may eventually accommodate cities, economies, and new societies. Mars colonization. Colonizing Mars presents one of the greatest engineering challenges humanity has ever faced. To tackle this monumental task, SpaceX has developed a cutting-edge transportation system composed of the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy booster. These components, together referred to as the Big Falcon Rocket BFR, are designed to revolutionize space travel and enable interplanetary colonization. The Starship is a reusable spacecraft made of stainless steel, 
giving it the toughness and heat resistance necessary for atmospheric re-entry and entry. Reaching a whopping 25 stories in height, the Starship has 42 Raptor engines powering it, capable of putting hundreds of tons into orbit. This payload capability dwarfs that of previous rockets like NASA's Saturn V, once the payload capacity record holder, and even the Falcon Heavy rocket. SpaceX wants to lower the cost of space missions by leaps and bounds with the Starship, enabling space travel to be more sustainable and affordable. One of the key aspects of the Starship is its reusability, which is a cornerstone of SpaceX's ambitions to make space travel economically sustainable. Every Starship is intended to have rapid turnaround with the ability to fly up to three times a day. This rate of launch is crucial not only for Mars missions, but also for Earth-to-orbit flights and other commercial ventures, such as space tourism. To enable Mars colonization, Musk's plan is to launch as many as 1,000 starships in coordinated fleets every 26 months when Earth and Mars are aligned in their orbits. This alignment offers the shortest and most energy-efficient route for travel between the two planets. A starship can transport 100 tons of cargo or 100 passengers, allowing for the migration of about 100,000 individuals per Martian launch window. This scale of immigration is central to establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars. But although getting to Mars is an impressive feat, it's only the first step. SpaceX's creative answer to fuel production on Mars is a key part of guaranteeing the success of long-term colonization. Through the Sabatier process, SpaceX will manufacture methane and oxygen fuel independently on Mars by harvesting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere of Mars and mixing it with hydrogen obtained from subsurface ice water. The process of independent fuel production on Mars as a closed-loop process avoids resupply missions from Earth, which could otherwise retard or stop Mars colonization. With these revolutionary technologies, SpaceX is not only going to create the infrastructure for sustaining human life on Mars, but is also laying the groundwork for humanity's multi-planetary future. The Starship and Super Heavy Booster combination is the epitome of engineering advancement and will be instrumental in helping us overcome the challenges of interplanetary travel and settlement. Building a self-sustaining Martian city building, a fully operational and self-sustaining human city on Mars, isn't just a goal for Elon Musk. It's the foundation of his plan to make humanity multi-planetary. A Martian city cannot be dependent on Earth for its existence. It must be able to power itself, feed itself, manufacture its own materials, and sustain a population that grows over time. This is the daunting task that's at the core of SpaceX's mission. It all starts long before humans ever make it to the Red Planet. The initial missions will be robot only. Two unmanned starships will precede any human expedition to act as the advance party. Their goals will be strategic. Find trusted sources of subsurface water, scan for environmental dangers, and begin building foundational infrastructure. That includes possible landing sites, power generation points, and critical communications arrays. Once data has established that the environment can sustain a long-term effort, human crews will follow. These initial Martian explorers will not be scientists on short-term missions. They will be settlers building the foundation for a future civilization. Upon arrival, they will live temporarily within the landed starships, which are designed to serve as shelters. Eventually, these crews will transfer to purpose-designed habitats that could be built underground or shielded by thick stacks of Martian soil, also referred to as regolith, to protect against lethal cosmic radiation. Power is a critical lifeline in this new world. SpaceX will be deploying big solar arrays early on, with an area of more than 56,000 square meters. The solar farms will provide enough electricity to power vital systems, such as life support, water recycling equipment, hydroponic greenhouses for growing food, and Sabatier reactors. These reactors are especially crucial. They will take the carbon dioxide-dense Martian atmosphere 
and harvested hydrogen and produced methane and oxygen for rocket fuel and breathable air. As the colony matures, it will require factories to process raw materials into building materials, fuels and equipment. Mars will also need sophisticated vehicles for transportation within the planet and cargo transport, all designed for the planet's reduced gravity and rugged surfaces. In addition, all structures must be designed to minimize energy usage and protect life from the planet's extreme weather. Years later, Musk hopes to see a real Martian city. Not a base, but a thriving, self-sufficient society. Governance systems adapted to the conditions of space. Instead of copying Earth's bureaucracies, Musk suggests a model of direct democracy, where each citizen votes directly on laws and policies for transparency and civic participation in this new world. Mars, in this vision, is no longer just a scientific base. It becomes an emblem of human resilience and creativity, a second home for humankind, conceived through the marriage of audacious engineering and a survival-based desire to transcend Earth. Turning Mars into a new Earth, one of the most ambitious ideas in Elon Musk's Martian plan is terraforming, shaping the frigid, desolate terrain of Mars into a planet similar to Earth. The idea, once the domain of science fiction, has now become a genuine topic of discussion, thanks largely to Musk's vision and drive. Terraforming is essentially changing Mars' environment to make it habitable for humans over the long term. With air to breathe, consistent temperatures, terraforming is essentially changing Mars' environment to make it habitable for humans over the long term. With air to breathe, consistent temperatures, and potentially even liquid water on the surface. Central to Musk's strategy is the concept of unleashing huge amounts of carbon dioxide trapped in the Martian poles. Mars's polar ice caps are thought to hold enormous reserves of frozen CO2. If this CO2 were to be vaporized into the atmosphere, it would thicken the planet's atmosphere greatly and trap solar heat, triggering a greenhouse effect. As the environment heats up, the surface temperature would increase, allowing liquid water to be present and setting the stage for future agriculture and outdoor living. Of all of Musk's proposals, the most contentious may be the Nuke Mars proposal. While it initially seemed like a publicity gimmick or meme, he explained that the plan would be to explode nuclear fusion bombs high in the atmosphere above each pole, on top of the planet, not on its surface, to serve as artificial suns. The in-flight blasts would release a lot of heat without polluting the ground, speeding up the CO2 emission and atmospheric heating. Even with the imaginative vision, Mainstream science comes at the idea with trepidation. NASA and other specialists have noted that even if all the CO2 in the poles and ground were released, Mars' atmospheric pressure would still be short of what is required for humans to survive unshielded. The pressure on Mars today is less than 1% of that of Earth, and the lack of a global magnetic field prevents the maintenance of an atmosphere in the long run, particularly with continuous solar wind bombardment Rather than terraforming entire planets, scientists propose a more feasible path, terraforming on a local scale. This means constructing enclosed environments, giant biodomes or subterranean cities that mimic Earth-like conditions. Within these domes, temperature, air pressure and oxygen levels could be regulated, allowing humans to live and work on Mars without the need for spacesuits. The domes would also be able to accommodate greenhouses, enabling food to be locally produced. Besides, long-term Martian environmental evolution could be supported by cutting-edge technologies. The surface areas could be illuminated with sunlight by giant orbital mirrors. Engineered microbes could eventually change the Martian regolith, releasing gases or fertilizing soil for farming. Although big-scale terraforming is still beyond our horizon, small-scale attempts at manipulating Mars's ecosystem could start in this century. Terraforming Mars may not be rapid or complete, and it may never exactly replicate Earth, but the discussion that it's fostered encourages human beings to dream beyond the confines of the present. For Musk and many visionaries, it's not about leaving Earth, 
It's about providing humankind with a second chance to flourish upon a planet we design ourselves. Technology, communication, and life on Mars. Surviving and thriving on Mars will take more than bravery. It will take an entire ecosystem of sophisticated technologies. SpaceX sees a future where colonists depend on self-sustaining solar-powered hydroponic farms. These systems produce food without soil, utilizing mineral-rich water and closed-loop recycling to save every drop of moisture, precious on a planet where fresh resources are limited. Reaching water below the Martian surface is a high priority. Elon Musk's tunneling company, The Boring Company, might come in handy by boring into subsurface ice. This water will not only quench the colony, it will be used for farming, oxygen production, and the generation of fuel using the Sabatier process. These underground tunnels may also function as natural shelters, providing insurance against Mars' harsh radiation. For communication, Starlink, the orbital satellite constellation of SpaceX, will keep a lifeline to Earth. It might offer colonists high-speed internet, which would allow real-time data exchange, remote diagnosis, and even morale-boosting video calls back home. In contrast, mobility on the Martian terrain will rely on autonomous rovers and electric cars, possibly derived from Tesla's platforms. These vehicles might assist with construction, cargo transport, and emergency rescue. Safety infrastructure will be crucial, Mars provides no magnetic field or dense atmosphere to protect from radiation. Colonists will inhabit habitats with a layer of Martian soil or constructed underground. Life support systems will keep pressure, oxygen and temperature, daily miracles in an alien world. But in all this technology, there is something that Mars presents that Earth cannot. The chance to begin afresh. A clean slate for government society and purpose. Out of the desperation to survive, a new type of civilization may be born, strong, cooperative, and forged in adversity. Those deadlines have come and gone, but they were never deadlines in name only. They were ambitious goals designed to drive innovation. Today, although a manned Mars mission prior to the 2030s is still unlikely, progress is undeniable. At Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX is rapidly building and flying Starship test vehicles. Each test flight demonstrates systems that would have been seen as science fiction a decade prior. The end goal isn't one historic touchdown. It's turning interplanetary travel into common practice. Starships need to go, return, refuel, and depart again, exactly like commercial jets. That is how a civilization on Mars makes it a reality. The early missions will require sacrifice. They'll be risky, expensive, and physically brutal. But the payoff is immense, establishing the foundation for a second cradle of human existence. Musk has said, half-jokingly, that he wants to die on Mars, just not on impact. Whether or not he makes it to the red planet himself, the legacy he is creating is greater than any single person. With every rocket flight and engineering milestone, the formerly unimaginable future draws near. Mars colonization is no longer a far-off dream. It is becoming a mission of this era. One that, if accomplished, might reshape the course of human history. And maybe one day, children will look up at a tiny red spot in the evening sky and see it not as an enigma, but as a recollection of our greatest leap forward. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and tell us what you think. See you in the next one.